Hi everybody, back again. Right, this time it's uh, the Red Tom back of Paris. Pretty much exactly the same as before. You can uh, look at the last video here or here. I'll put a thing up so you can see. Slightly different proportions on this Tom back. Tom back again is a brass, usually a high copper, high copper alloy. Um, so obviously we've got 990 grams of copper, 88 grams of zinc, and 22 grams of lead. I'm hoping hoping the lead is going to give this a nice dark colour. I did explain about the uh, tombak in the uh, last video, so rather than repeat myself, if you want to know about it, it's at the beginning of the last video. I'm just going to get straight on with this mount because the furnace is still hot and I don't want to lose the retained heat in there. Obviously I can save myself a bit of time. So 990 grams of copper, 88 grams of zinc, 22 grams of lead. So that's 8% zinc, 2% lead and 90% copper. Red Tombak of Paris. And yes, that is very hot. Okay, copper's all melted, I'm going to add a little bit more flux, then I'm going to add the lead, and then I'm going to add the zinc. This is the flux I'm using, Eco Pure 524, the zinc copper alloys. There's a the flux going in there. That's just melting. We'll give that a couple of minutes and then we'll add the lead.
Now, probably didn't heat it up enough again. What a great pour. Hopefully we'll have a idea of the colour. Didn't skim the flux off that time. I thought I might be able to pour the metal from underneath the flux. Might be another thing I've learnt. Always take the flux off. Too bad. Same worse. Question is, what colour is it going to be? What difference does the lead make? So this is the Red Tombac of Paris, after it's been sanded and polished, and if you can see these little lines running down it, a bit of a grain, again you can see these little wavy, wavy lines. I don't think that's down to the polishing. I'll tell you why I think that in a minute. Again, there they are. These are, that's left over from the polishing compound that blows black marks on the side there. As you can see, it's quite a golden colour, which again wasn't what I was looking for. Again, there are those lines running all the way around. So there's a comparison. This is the red tombac of Vienna, the salmon, salmon pink colour compared to the golden colour of the red tombac of Paris. So quite a big colour difference. So obviously this one was 2.2% zinc and this one was 8% zinc with 2% lead. Now I think what happens when you make a brass with a low lead content is the lead gets pushed to the outer boundaries of the metal. So a common trait with low lead brasses is that they can leach lead because the lead gets concentrated on the outside of the metal. Now obviously it has darkened it up slightly with these little lines, but again it's way too light for what I'd like for my backgammon board. Now I have had a bit of a brainwave. Um, I think what I'm going to do for the counters is I'm going to remake the counters. One of them definitely just in pure copper. And then the other one probably in pure zinc and what I'm going to do with the pure copper one I'm going to patina it with liver of sulphur 
until it turns completely black. Once the copper's turned black, I'm going to inlay the faces with gold leaf, um, just to really make them stand out. Um, for the pure zinc ones, I'll do exactly the same. I'll keep those silver, and again, I'll inlay the faces on those with gold leaf as well. So I think uh, I think that's going to be the way to go. So we're going to end up with some with black counters and silver counters. I think that's going to be the way to go. I think we'll get the biggest biggest contrast that way: black, silver, with accents of gold leaf. Okay, so there we go. I'll just leave you with the final shot of all three. There they are. Red Tombac of Paris. Red Tombac of Vienna.